this facility, Woodhull, had just finished an energy audit, and I saw that uh, steam traps would be a, a really easy, low-hanging fruit type project in which we can do, and we will achieve the same goals of uh, GHG emissions and a lot of uh, cost savings. So one of the things that we wanted to do was to verify the numbers that we saw in the energy audit. That would mean that we would have to, to, to vet our calculations and we would also have to do some testing of the actual steam traps. In order to have that done, uh, this is where CUNY's uh, building performance lending library was very instrumental. So I was able to, to get into contact with Felix Rodriguez, uh, use Paul Rielli and people like Honey Burke to, to go to their lab and borrow their equipment. Luckily for us, they had just gotten some brand new ultrasonic steam trap testing equipment and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So we were able to, to use that. In addition, they also lent us some nifty thermal imaging cameras where we can test the traps and see where we have loss or leaks and so that we can get precise readings on the equipment. We were also able to use tools from the Mayor's Office of uh, Carbon Challenge because they have a tool whereby you can put in your numbers and you, you can calculate your GHG emissions and additional savings. All of these tools put together were very instrumental in coming up with steps to understand the project, understand where we were with the project, where we needed to be, and ultimately, like I said, to, to have an application to, to get the Steam Trap project funded. Because of BOC1, you know, my training, I, was, I had a fuller understanding of how steam traps work and some of the terminologies and, and whatnot that I use in the industry in understanding empathy loss, understanding orifice sizes, understanding its role in, in boiler efficiency, and just making sure that you, how to test properly using ultrasonic testers and using the thermal cameras. BOC was instrumental in that respect to help me with my implementation of the, of the project. In April 2015, New York City Health and Hospitals submitted an expense for conservation and efficiency leadership program application to replace approximately 89 traps or 25% of the traps at this facility. The cost of the project was $217,000. Steam trap replacements will result in an annual reduction of 13,000 tons of GHG and approximately $125,000 in annual energy savings. The replacements of the traps will be completed in mid-April of 2016. The payback period for this project is approximately two years. This is why I would love to thank uh, everyone involved in helping me getting this, this project successful. Uh, Ms. Ellen Ryan from DCAS, Jason from DCAS. I would like to thank the, the folks from CUNY's School of Professional Studies, Honey Burke, Paul Rielli, also people from the CUNY's Building Performance Lending Library for lending us their equipment, Felix Rodriguez and others. I would love to thank the, the staff at the, at the facility, Joe Riccio, Mr. Corrales, Lisa Scott McKenzie, and other senior people, and also the people from my office, because they're all involved in making this happen, Cyril Toussaint, uh, Ms. Roslyn Weinstein, Mr. Lou Eaglehout, Ruby Cruz, they're all very instrumental in making sure that this happens. After successfully completing this project, there are several main takeaways. One major takeaway is routine testing. This project was not just about replacing steam traps, but the idea is to have a steam trap replacement program in place. So one of the main things is to, to test routinely. Once you test routinely, you can have your steam traps tagged and properly identified so that you can then sit down and plan with facility staff, with senior administration, how you're about to go about doing your, your, your steam trap replacement program. So Typically, steam traps last from three to five years, so therefore you, can, you have enough time where you can apply for funding and plan your, your approach methodically so that you can go about implementing a successful steam trap program. You know, having said that, it's also very important to have the engagement of senior administration. Because our process involves many key players, you have to have the facilities engagement, you have to have senior administration, we have DCAS involved, we have CUNY involved. It's important that everyone is on the same page so that the process goes smoothly.